This is my first time at one of these cop gatherings. I've been warned it's a bit of a circus, and it certainly is. I'm told there are 40,000 people here. It's incredibly noisy. It's spread over a vast site. It's easy to get lost or to be late for things with security, not surprisingly, being very strong. But what's impressed me is the diversity of the people here from all around the world, scientists, uh, people of faith, campaigners, uh, politicians, business people, people of a variety of ages, and yet all of them really focused on this one issue, on getting the world to wake up to tackling the biggest issue that we face, the climate going into freefall. Here in Paris, it's important that the uh, faith-based groups, and in particular the evangelicals, needs to be present, needs to be heard, Needs to, be, uh, needs to participate and come together because the issue of climate change is a gospel message, it's a gospel concern. Climate change does affect every single human being on the planet. Somebody made me realize this very vividly when they said, you are amongst the first generation of human beings to breathe in air that has more than 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide in it. And that really made me think, all around the planet, this is already affecting us, and often in ways that we can't see and can't feel yet. One thing that I've observed is like in Manila, where I've spent most of my time, the storms are getting so much stronger every, every decade, so to say. And so like, like now it's really common to have every year a totally disaster storm somewhere, if not immediately in Manila, then nearby or certainly in the Philippines. And in one particularly heavy rainstorm, the, the river swelled very dramatically and houses in the, that's in the plains there, they were flooded like right into the second story. And people started to bring their children into one of the more solid buildings, a, a sort of a brick house and uh, they had some two dozen children in there and then a little later as the river just raged past uh, those that the whole community that brick house was swept away as well and all the children in, in it gone you take the message of the Bible, it's clearly an issue that as Christians we should uh, care deeply about because it, it, there's, it's a question of justice, it's a question of um, taking care of creation as God gave it to us as a mandate. As religious leader, we are able to bring the moral dimension of climate change because it's not just scientific and political issue, it is actually a moral issue. As a scientist, it's a little unusual to hear a scientist tell you facts are not enough when it comes to issues like climate change. 